Hey guys and welcome into another video. Today we're going to be going over the new EA Sports Madden NFL ratings for 2021's game. Obviously Lamar Jackson on the cover. It's been a controversial game so far. Um, the most dislikes ever on a Madden trailer. Um, I'll just, I mean, an absolute ton of uh, feedback, negative feedback about the game. Um, Fixed Madden franchise was trending in order for them to take notice. I mean, it's been a rough start for uh, Madden and wh where they're at right now with this next game, but... You know, we're holding out hope. Obviously, as a football fan and a content creator, I'm going to be getting the game. I'm going to be playing it. So um, even though it's not something I personally like, I, I do I do want to see what they can do and figure out, you know, how they've improved and how they haven't. But they released the ratings. Now, all I did is open this page. I have not looked at any of the ratings. Um, I've seen stuff floating around about somebody having a big rating. So um, we'll see what that is. But I guess let's scroll down and just see who we have so far. So player ratings, let's just see. So the – okay, wow. So these are just quarterbacks, I'm guessing. Okay, so it's only the quarterbacks so far, um, which, I, yeah, that's fine. So the first guy we have is Joe Burrow. Um, Joe Burrow has a 76 overall. Man, 83 speed. That seems like a lot to me. I don't know. I know Joe Burrow's got some speed, but I don't think 83 speed is where he's at. Um, man, that's kind of crazy. But let's see. He's got um, – why is catching and throw power on here? Come on, let's see. Where's the passing? Where's the passing? Why is it all the way in the back? Um, here we go. All right, so this is where we're really gonna be looking for these guys. Um, so sh short accuracy 88, mid 84, deep 85, play action 83, throw on the run 86. Um, yeah, Joe Burrow looks like he's gonna be a pretty solid QB to start off. Tua Tagovailoa now has a 73 overall. Um. 86 short accuracy, 81 mid accuracy, 90 deep accuracy. I feel like his accuracy stats should be right up there with Burroughs, to be honest. Um, there's nothing wrong with Tua as a quarterback. It's just simply the injury that's held him back. So I really feel like his his accuracy stats should all be pretty much the same as Joe Burroughs. I think he should be a little bit better than what this is. Um, but, I mean, I think that will obviously upgrade in time. Um, let's see. We can add a rating here, huh? Let's add speed here. Oh, we could compare them. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. And then what's this? Customize ratings. Okay, yeah, see, this is what we probably want to do. Um, but, yeah, so, I mean, that, that's those two are not bad. Um, I, I'd like to see Tua's stats go up a little bit more. Um, Jordan Love, pretty similar to Tua on accuracy stats. Um, obviously, just a couple points below, but that, that, that's a big drop-off. Um, I do agree with Jordan Love being a little bit higher than Justin Herbert. I think Herbert's got to refine his game a little bit. Um, get a little bit, um, you know, kind of just get to the NFL level better. I think Jordan Love's arm talent is just absolutely insane. Um, what did they give Herbert on speed? Let's see. They gave Herbert 82 speed, which is crazy. Jalen Hurts coming in at 86 speed. That's pretty crazy. Um, man, the rookie ratings are so crazy just because it's, because I know why they want to do rookie ratings like this, but it's like other than these, these are the five guys you're going to be able to use in like franchise modes. You know, you're really not going to be able to develop a Jake, uh, Jacob Eason or Fromm or anybody else down here, you know, and kind of turn them into something. Um, I mean, we don't really have to go into all of these guys. Um, isn't Bryce Perkins a tight end? Am I tripping? Or I don't know why they have Bryce Perkins as a quarterback. We're going to look that up in a second. Um, I'm pretty sure he's a tight end, unless they're converting him to quarterback for some reason. Uh, but Anthony Gordon, I thought he was going to be pretty solid. They have him at a 55. Um, Jordan Tamu, 58. Uh, he's not really a rookie. I guess he is, but he was from the uh, XFL, right? Was that the last league that was playing? I always forget which league, league is which now. Um, James Morgan, 60. Jake Fromm, 62. Jacob Eason. I mean, like, their throwing stats really aren't that bad. I mean, where's throwing power? That's – oh, that's hit power. Is throwing power just not on here? Um, hmm. Because that, that is something I would really be interested in is to see – Oh, there we go. Throwing powers right here, huh? Throw under pressure rating. Um, okay, well, break sack and throw under pressure here as well. So let's see. Burrow, 83 and 84. I agree with that. Tua, 80 and 81. I agree with that. Um, Love, I agree with the under pressure. And Herbert, under pressure. I think Herbert could break a little bit more tackles than we give him credit for as well. Um, Jalen Hurts is obviously up there. Um, I'm really excited to see what Jalen Hurts can do at the next level. Obviously, it kind of sucks just because um, he's going to be sitting behind Wentz for most of his time unless Wentz gets injured. Um, here we go. Throw power, 86. So... The best arm is Jacob Eason, it looks like. The 93. Right? Can we sort? We can sort by this, huh? Here we go. Yeah, 93 Jacob Eason. Um, Herbert's coming in with a 92. 
Um, James Morgan and Jordan Love share that 90 overall rating. Cole McDonald and Tua with 88. Burrow all the way down here at 86 throw power. That might hold him back, to be honest. Um, I mean, I know he's not a complete slinger of the ball, and he's more of a finesse guy. But, you know, 86 throw power is pretty low for a guy um, of his talent. I mean, I don't know. It's not that bad. Man, I mean, Eason might be able to be developed with that throw power, and then his short accuracy he might just be able to get the other accuracy up, especially if he has, like, a star dev. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Herbert's going to be fun to use. I mean, these quarterbacks are going to be really fun to use. Jordan Love, I'm glad that they gave Jordan Love a 71 because you're going to be able to, you know, trade for him. Or, you know, if you're a Packers fan, you, you'll be able to go through and use Rodgers for another year or so, get rid of him and see what you do there. Or even like me when I do fantasy drafts, i would be able to get a guy like Jordan Love as my quarterback and be able to, you know, already have him at a 71. That's going to help me out a lot. So, um I mean, what do you guys think? I, one thing I want to look up, one thing, let's look up real quick. It's going to be Bryce uh, Bryce Perkins because I thought he was a tight end. Oh, no, 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 okay. This is from, uh, oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Because who the heck is their tight end? Um, now we have to figure this out because I remember Bryce Perkins is from Virginia. Um, Rand's tight end draft. Because they drafted Bryson Hopkins is his name, huh? Yeah, Bryson Hopkins. That's why I was confused. Bryce Perkins, Bryce P Hopkins is is confusing to me. But what I really want to look up is the Madden 19 rookie ratings. Because I, I want to compare and contrast. Um, let's go rookie QB ratings. Because th what was insane last year was, I mean, they didn't know how to do it. But, okay, this is, I didn't mean Madden 19, Madden 20. My apologies. Um, we're just not we're not even gonna edit most of this out to be honest. So yeah, look at this. This is how it was last year. Um, first of all, we're always gonna go over this one. Madden had Daniel Jones as a sixty three overall. A sixty three overall. Let's go over here and let's go to overall. J Jake Eason, who was taken in what, the third round? He's a sixty three overall in this year's Madden. Jalen Hurts, second rounder, sixty eight. I mean all these guys are way above Daniel Jones. Um Will Greer and Drew Locke were both taken after him. I think even, um, gosh, what's his name even? He was a really tall quarterback out of Buffalo. Um, Jackson, I think it was his last name. I don't know. We could figure this out. Um, but, yeah, it it was it was bad, man. Dwayne Haskins was there. Drew Locke, Bam Bam. Uh, yeah, it's, I, I just don't know. 63 overall, it was so bad. I mean, it was so bad. For Will Greer, who really didn't even do anything last year, I don't think he even touched the field, 66 was bad. But, like, you look at the ratings. Like, Kyler Murray coming out, the number one overall pick, was a 73? Yeah, 73 overall. And that's what Tua is. So, I mean, they're holding Burrow to a very high standard here. That's a pretty high rating. Um, same thing with, you know, Jordan Love and Herbert. I mean, even look, I mean, Dwayne Haskins was 72, and he was taken a lot later. And then Daniel Jones, who was the second quarterback taken, was a 63. So the ratings are a lot more favorable this year. I think that they realized last year how bad they were messing up with the ratings at the beginning. Because I get they want to balance it out and, you know, have the, the best players feel like the best players. But, you know, I you, you if you use Gardner Minshew and Madden right now, you can't throw a slant route. He'll miss it. Um, so there definitely is some fixing that needs to be doing that. But I think with these ratings, it's kind of showing that, you know, they, they were always, ratings were always really good. Then they went and balanced it out by making a lot of ratings lower, and now they're going to kind of find the middle of the pack and just kind of get the ratings towards the right area, which I, I hope they do. So um, comparatively, I think that they're doing a lot better right now. Um, it's going to be fun to play with all of these guys, man. I mean, I'm excited to play with Hurts because, I mean, I'll play Eagles, I'll play with the Eagles and throw Hurts in there. I think it'll be fun. Um, Jordan Love as well. I mean, this is just going to be a fun time to play with the rookie quarterback. So um, what do you guys think about the ratings, man? Is there is there a quarterback that your team drafted? Um let me know who it is and let me know what you think about their rating because, I mean, obviously there's a lot of uh, quarterbacks, but a lot of these guys really aren't going to touch the field much unless they, you know, have a, a Gardner Mitchell season. You'll see their rating get adjusted accordingly. But, um, yeah, pretty much from, I guess, Morgan up is really the quarterbacks that are going to be able to be played. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you agree with the ratings. Um, I think I agree with the order that the ratings are in. I think that's per perfect. But let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know if you guys agree or disagree. Um, who are you excited to play with in Madden 21 as well? Um, are you even getting the game? Let me know about that. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like as it does help me out a bunch. Um, it's, of course, if you guys do like Madden content, NBA content, different content like that, please be sure to subscribe. I mean, we're going to be dropping videos all 
all year basically as, mu as much as we can through this quarantine but you want to stick out for that so like i said if you did enjoy the video leave a like if you didn't refresh the page check it out again let me know what you think a second time and without further ado that's gonna be it for me i'll see you guys in the next one